There they come. provide oxygen for us obviously that's the big thing right yeah okay but do does everybody like trees yeah. yeah do they make things look good yeah yeah so if we look around here and there weren't any trees it wouldn't look very good would it no, no it wouldn't so um how tall can trees get up to 100 feet they can get how tall up to 100 feet yes up to 100 feet is right they certainly can um, the tree that we're going to plant today is called the Swamp White Oak. Can anybody tell me how deep we need to plant the tree? That's deep. This is called the bare root, okay? Um, a lot of the times when you're at a nursery, um, trees have been growing. If you're at a nursery, trees have been growing there for probably seven or eight years, okay? This is probably maybe, maybe two years old at the most grew from a, an acorn, and that's how they started it. So, um, how deep do we need to plant? As deep as deep. Kind of. And I'm the shovel. So, um, when you're planting a new tree, you want to go as deep as the roots are existing. So is that what you meant? Okay. If you wanted to plant as deep as the roots would go, you would have to be a really big hole. <laughs> how wide do we plant the tree? How, how big, how wide do we make the hole? Yes. Twice as wide, that's right. We want to make the hole we want to make the hole twice as big as our roots. So, you know, we're gonna make it that's about 12 inches. So that's really about the size that we need to be at this particular point. Okay? When we plant it, we don't want to plant it too deep, because if we plant it too deep, it hurts the tree. It doesn't allow the tree to grow right. Okay? Any other questions? Yes? When does the tree start up to grow into a big tree? As soon as we plant it. <laughs> <laughs> how, much, how much do they grow in a year? Uh, it varies. When they're young, um, trees can put anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of growth on. Um, you'll, this one will establish itself a lot quicker. Um, 
you already have a lot of the fine roots all ready to grow. Um, you don't you don't have to reestablish any of the root system that that was cut off from the nursery. So when they bring it in from a nursery, they cut off a lot of the roots. This one has all of its roots and it's ready to start growing. Anybody else? Yep, we have some yes. How many years to reach like its maturity? Um, to reach maturity, it's probably going to be about fifty or sixty years. But this tree can this tree can live for over one hundred and fifty years. So it's going to be here a really, really long time. <laughs> no. Shine out. No. Swamp white. It's a native tree to Illinois, so it's not. Uh, it's not rare at all. Um, the beach. If you go to the beach, they have a lot of these trees in the beach. The lakefront, yes. Lakefront. 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 Yeah. She has her question though. It's yes. <laughs> okay, good question. Uh, we're gonna how how do we water? Is what the question was. And how much? When it is when it is cold outside like it is today and we've had a lot of rain you don't need to water as much because the moisture will stay in the soil longer um, we're going to put mulch on it so the mulch will help keep moisture in but you're going to water the trees uh, every probably seven to 14 days is all you need to do and you Um, the uh, lakefront. It's there. The, there's a whole lot of them all across the front of the, the lake. Yes. If you water it every day, you're going to drown it. <laughs> okay. Because what do we need to breathe? Oxygen. Trees need oxygen too. Okay. And if you put too much water in them, what happens when you stay under the water too long? We drown. We drown. Okay, that's what's going to happen with the tree too. The tree needs oxygen to take in all the nutrients. Okay, so if you drown it, put too much water in it, you'll you'll kill it. Okay. And then you. That's right. That's. what you should do. You should water it once and let and you really want the water you want the soil around the tree you want the, that to dry out. You want the soil to dry out and then you water it again. So you don't give it too much water um, and you also let the tree's roots struggle a little bit so they have to go find the water themselves. So they're going to grow and grow into the soil. So you want the tree to struggle just a little bit and make sure you give it the water. Yes. Does it blossom? Um, not really. It does, but the flower, it's not like a flower flower. So <laughs> in the springtime, this time of the year, you'll see a, some fuzzy stuff on it. That's about all it's going to do. It all depends on how hot it is. If it's hot, you have to water more often. If it's cool, you have to water less. Yep. If you just, yeah, I, that I can't tell you. You just have to, the best thing to do is to test the soil. So if you have a, like a stake at home, if you put the stake into the ground and it goes in very easily, then you have enough water. If you try to put the stick in the ground or the stake in the ground and it's really hard to get in, you need to water. Okay? So you don't want to get you don't want to dry it out. You want it to dry out, but not too much. How much time we got? Alright. Okay. Start. One more. Can trees grow bananas? No. Yes, they can. Not this tree. 
but that's how we get bananas, are from trees. There's, that's called the banana palm. It's a palm tree. Okay. Okay. You ready? We can plant the tree now. Yep. I'm gonna be a tramp one day. Guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the we're gonna put the tree in. We're gonna plant it about this deep is where we're gonna go with it. So it'll be out of the ground just a little bit, but not too much. We'll put the soil, we'll put the root in. And then little by little we'll put the soil in around the roots and then we'll pack it in around the roots as we go to keep it tight. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to bring a trampoline when that thing dies. I don't want to be in trampoline. I don't know. 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 These guys are true professionals. So is my dad. So if you just go to your gym, and then you're a plant. Oh my god. What is that? That is What what does the mulch do? They make it keep it holds the moisture in. It holds the moisture in, that's right. So um, also guys, when you plant your tree, <coughs> what we want to do, obviously make sure it's straight, okay? But we want to make a little a trough around the base of the tree. And that's where you'll dump your, that's where you'll, that's where you'll water. So, the, the, the little trench will help keep the water inside and they'll help direct the roots, they'll help direct the water directly to the roots, okay? Is that good? Yeah. 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 How does wood help it? The mulch, the mulch keeps the ground around the tree. It keeps it wet longer. It keeps it moist longer, so it doesn't dry out as fast. Also, um, as mulch breaks down, it breaks down into uh, more organic matter, which is for the plants. That'll help the plants as well. So it adds in organisms to help break up the soil and help the tree live longer. Okay? We good? Yeah. All right. Um, anything, Scott, you need to add? Anything? No, thank you again for uh, Phil from Rickman and uh, our public group, Frank. And everyone, thanks everyone for coming out. They enjoy the tree. Yeah, thanks for teaching us about it. Thanks for bringing them. Thanks for the ones to take home. We appreciate it. Enjoy them, guys. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna be a grandma. Yeah.